Hola, 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 mis amores. ¿Cómo están? ¿Cómo están haciendo? ¿Cómo le está yendo este día? Y fin de semana también, because it's Friday. How are you guys doing? How is your day? It's Friday. Um, plans for the weekend. Hopefully, you're having a good day. I've just been hit with some more information. I keep dropping them one after the other as quickly as I can and as quickly as my computer will let me. <laughs> Because y'all, stuff just keeps coming out, right? So now we're hearing through the grapevine that Misa Hilton, who is Didi's ex um, and his baby mom, baby mo mother, baby mama, however y'all want to say it, is planning to file a lawsuit of her own. That would just be, I mean, he's already finished right let me tell y'all something he's already starting to be dropped by super extremely big brands okay macy's was the first one to go macy's took advantage of the opportunity i'm willing to bet you that no one was buying his stuff anyway no one was buying his stuff anyway so macy's <laughs> Macy's saw what's been has saw what's been happening and they said we out oh my god this is great we're out of there right so they dropped they dropped the Sean John collection so fast y'all <laughs> and you know how they always do it they know that we the public we know exactly what's going on and so it's so funny to me how they they always do it in the same way like they'll publicize something super HR friendly right and say you know, it's just business and it's just a, an official decision we've made just in the best interest of the company. They dropped him because of the fact that, look, he ain't selling, first of all. He hasn't been selling probably for a long time. His stuff hasn't been selling for a long time. And now we find out he's an animal on top of everything. So the public is not definitely the majority of the public is definitely not on his side. So if you weren't selling before, you're definitely not going to be able to sell now. Goodbye, sir. <laughs> That's basically, they dropped him, okay? And then Vodka was next. Vodka just dropped him. And he apparently was even starting trouble um, with Vodka because of his ego. And he was like arguing with them, like, he, you know, because he had promoted himself as, um, I believe he promoted himself as owner or CEO, some high level position that he actually does not have when, when marketing this. And th that was a huge problem. I believe that's where it all started. But anyway, long story short, from what I've been hearing, he's been causing issues there anyways. So vodka hoped on the opportunity as well. And they said, Oh my God. God is so good. Like, this is great. They hooked on this opportunity and they said, we out. We're not working with you anymore. <laughs> and they put the same press release out, the same official HR press release. It was so funny to me. Well, after, uh, after contemplating and further com contemplating, it's just what we have deemed to be the best uh, move moving forward as of right now. Um, we're not wanting to speak ill of of anyone. It is just a business decision. Girl, they dropped them because he is not worth any of that, right? He got dropped, it's plain and simple. <laughs> we don't want to work with him. We don't, we don't like working with him. We've never liked working with him anyway. So this works out perfectly for us. So deuces, we're out. That's basically, that's basically, right? We're out. That He sucks. He's an animal. We're done. Right. He can't he's not even making as much money as we would need him to make anyway. Right. And so they dropped him. Right. So big brands are dropping him. And now his baby moms is one of his baby moms is coming out and she's like saying that she might file a lawsuit. We will stay up to date on the issue and see if that actually happens. Um, but you know. <laughs> He's already finished. And I, I I would love for the baby moms to come out and say something too, just because it's like further reinforcing the fact that he is done. But this will be a super nail in the coffin. 
So I would be very, very excited if she actually does come out and file a lawsuit. Um, but let's see what they have to say about this. Dora's books about his past and dirty secrets because his ex and baby mama, Misa Hilton, has also come out to speak about the she faced while she was with Diddy and how he abandoned her when she needed him. Cassie's lawsuit has ignited talk about Diddy's dirty past and hidden secrets and since news of the lawsuit went public, people have been sharing stories of how they were mistreated by Diddy, his connection to Kim Porter's death, the death of Tupac, and now his other baby mama Misa Hilton is exposing him for taking advantage of her, mistreating her, and abandoning her when she needed him. For those who may not be familiar with the name, Misa Hilton is a fashion designer and she met Diddy for the first time in the 1990s. She was a teenager in high school and at that time Diddy was transitioning from his role as an intern at Uptown Records to a full-fledged music executive. He was in charge of putting albums together and also styling the musicians at the label. Diddy hired Misa as his personal assistant and she was responsible for the fashion side of the label. Their relationship soon moved from business and turned romantic in a few months and all this happened while Misa was a teen. Diddy Diddy's relationship with Misa had some similarities with his relationship with Cassie because sources revealed that Misa got her dream. She was 15 and he, this is a grown person at minimum in his twenties, at minimum, I would say, because if he was in an internship and she was 15 and you want to tell me not to bring up age, I had some stupid, and it was a male. It's always a male. They're predatory, predators. Some stupid male in my comment section saying, well, why do you have to bring up age? What does age have to do with it? Are you stupid? If they're both legal, what does age have to do? Are you dumb? It's a predatory behavior. And 15 is not legal. But here we go again. Here we go again. A male that would date an 18 year old while being in their 20s, um, late 20s, and, and above, late 20s and above, any male that would date an 18 year old, a 19 year old, a 20 year old, a 21, and even a 22 year old while being that much older than them while they are 28 27 and above predators 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 that's what they are and any male that would do that would definitely they would definitely not hesitate they wouldn't even blink when it comes to dating a 15 year old a 14 year old 13, maybe even 12, they would not blink. They would do it. Undoubtedly, the only thing stopping these animal males, animalistic males from doing it is the law. But the law is not morality. The law is not in and, in and of itself ethics. The law is there to keep these animals under control because they would do it. So when, when these males are asking me the, the idiotic question, why do you keep bringing up age? They're both legal. Just because it's legal doesn't mean it is moral. It doesn't mean that it makes sense. It doesn't mean that you're not a predator. The fact that I even have to explain that. This just gets me going. Oh my gosh job at a young age and Diddy took advantage of that, threatening that she was going to lose her job if she said no to him. Diddy basically groomed her into what he wanted while she was just 17. Allegedly, Diddy also introduced her to drugs, took her to one of his private parties without considering she was just 17, and as their relationship progressed, he started putting his hands on her and doing the same things he did to Cassie. Misa at the time was gaining recognition for her skills as a designer because Diddy he hired her to style music group Jodeci. Assisting Sean Combs with Jodeci. We were dating at the time and he had just 
went from intern to a and r so she decided to stay in this dysfunctional relationship Auntie, Dean Deal, was who was diddy's bodyguard also confirmed one of the assaults he witnessed he revealed in an interview that misa was so in love with diddy and while she was so into him diddy was a swinger who enjoyed partying and regularly cheated on misa gene revealed that misa decided to return the favor she hooked up with one of the music duo of epmd and when diddy saw them he beat misa till she had to hide under under the car and this all happened before they had their child she, she thought puff was messing around i guess like she started talking to the dude from epmd he came to see her and puff beat up till she got up under the beat up literally till she tried to run up under the car wow and y'all remember how Cassie revealed that Diddy blew up Kid Cudi's car because she had a fling with him while she and Diddy were apart. There were also talks about him sneaking up on Shakir Stewart and attacking him in a hotel room because he was talking to Kim Porter. Anyway, Misha had their son in 1993 while she was just 20 and sources revealed that she had to end the relationship because she could no longer stand the she faced from Diddy. But get this, Diddy completely abandoned her while she was struggling. She dragged Diddy to court and argued that she needed Diddy to increase his child support payments. While he paid Misha $5,500 per month, he was paying Kim $35,000 monthly for her first son. And just recently as well, Misa blasted Diddy when their son Justin Combs was arrested for driving under the influence of alcohol. Misa went off on Diddy, blaming him for the downfall of their son. She took to her Instagram story and wrote, Everyone has to. This is what happens. This is what happens when you give animalistic males heirs. These males have no business procreating. How many times do I have to say that? They have no business procreating. This is what happens when you give males that have no business procreating heirs when you bless them with heirs he's been beating women since he could walk probably look how far back this dates this is like watching a movie because this is exactly what happens every single day ladies Stop interacting or talking to these bums. Stop, stop talking to these males. None of them are useful. They all suck. They all suck. Stop talking to them. Leave them alone. For your own peace, sanity, don't go anywhere near them. That's why we have so many single moms today. That's what happens when you procreate with a useless male. And most of them are useless. There's literally only one to 3% out of the whole world that you might be able to consider procreating with. The rest are trash. For example, if they don't make a minimum of at least $200,000 a year, that is a beta male. That is a useless male. That is a subordinate male. This guy was super rich, way more than $200,000 a year. So he checked the minimum, easiest, simplest requirement. Guess what, though? He's a woman abuser. Trash. Beta male. You do not procreate with animals. To sit around for years and act like there isn't anything wrong with you. This is where the buck stops for me. So since the news of Cassie's lawsuit has broken, several outlets have reported that Misa feels relieved that Diddy's karma is finally catching up to him and people can now truly see him for what he really is. Fan said this. So that's what Misa was talking about exposing Diddy. He was...
and Cassie. Misa Hilton was a teenager when she met Diddy and had their son Justin. Diddy sought out Kim Porter when she was years younger than him. Cassie was 18 years old when he groomed her. Carisha was in her mid-twenties when he sought her out. A groomer will always find someone to groom. And remembering how Misa Hilton was insinuating earlier this year that Diddy was driving his sons into addiction and she wasn't going to be silent anymore. I hope they all join up on that lawsuit. But I want to know what you think about Diddy's history. Oh. When you give males heirs, we end up with an overpopulated, overpopulated world. And we end up with this. When you give males that have no business procreating heirs. Only one to three percent of males can be somewhat reasonably considered as being able to handle and or deserve deserving of an heir. And when it comes to the child support issue, how are you going to be making all that money and only paying $5,000 a month for child support? Are you insane? I really hope that she made him up that amount 10, 20, 30 folds. How are you making all this money and you only paying $5,000 a month for child support? Are you dumb? He is so dumb. that Like, ridiculous. I would never accept that. Unacceptable. Especially after all the beatings I probably took dealing with you? Oh, no. No, no, no. So anyways, this is just more news for us coming on the downfall of Diddy, surviving Diddy, the downfall of. And I'm so happy. I'm tired because I've been having to push out these videos one after the other. But I, I love what I'm seeing and what I'm pushing out when it comes to these videos and when it comes to his downfall, I'm going to keep doing it because we have to do our part. So y'all subscribe, leave a comment below, like the video for the YouTube algorithm. Let me know what you think. It's crazy. And I'll talk to you all. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.